yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for celeb news. Now, today we have, we got the Birkin bag debate. I know, I know, you, you like, wait, for real? And trust me, bruh, this involves you. We got my boy T.I. stepping up to the plate with Bus and 50 on his new position with Trump. Hey, yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source. I'm your host, Celeb. The team's name is Source, and that's where the magic comes from. Hey, yo, if this is your first time to the channel, I mean it when I say, you done lucked up this time. Yo, if you're back from a previous vid, we are honored to have your view and time, respect. Yo, and that's, and I mean that, right? And go on and hit the sub button because we family now. You see what I'm saying? Hit the notification bell because that's us calling you. And yo, we need your input, man. And I mean that, all right? I get a dopamine hit seeing your comments and responding, man. Yo, we, we're trying to build a community over here and we doing that together. You and I, you know, just us. Hey, yo. Hit the like button if you're cool with community, man. Yo, we don't always agree, but that's family. You know how we get down. A shout out to the ladies, fellas. More of them are showing up to the channel, so uh, behave, okay? Shalane Minor, we see that you came through. We appreciate it, and it means a lot to us. Damn French and Binky Black, salute and much respect for your support. Gregory Lee, we do this for you, bruh. And uh, Stupid Fox came through and said, yo, all hating comments is a thing of the past. Negative energy? Please disappear. I love y'all. Yeah, well, we love you too, man. You see what I'm saying? Yo, sometimes folks need that. And yo, that could have been on another channel, but it's right here. You see what I'm saying? And yo, and respect for that. You see what I mean? Now, first on deck is the Birkin bag. Because apparently, one of these bags are more important than all of us combined. You see what I'm saying? You're like, word? Facts. Yo, they're custom made by hand. You can't just walk in and get one. You gotta be important enough or spend enough. If it's offered to you, you can't even choose the color. They put limits on how many you could purchase a year. The white Himalaya bag sold at 500K in 2019. And you're like, why? Because there's two in the world, albino croc skin, diamonds, white gold, whatever. All right. Anyway, Sweetie came out on a gram and played herself by saying the following: "Yo, take a listen." If you're not getting your barking, if you're not paying for your bills, just let that to the street. Okay. You disgusted, right? Yeah, I, I, I follow you. You see what I'm saying? If he not getting you a Birkin, if he not paying for your bills, then throw that near back to the streets, okay? Not, no, not okay, all right? Thank you, sweetie, by saying that, right? All the women that will follow your advice will be out of the way, so we won't have to weed through them to find the good ones. Yo, if I came home with a Birkin, right? A good woman would say, are you stupid? You could have put that money on some property, you idiot. Why the hell would you think it was a good idea to get this back? It better be fake. You see what I mean? Yo, that should be the indicator, right? Fellas, ask your lady. Yo, hey girl, come here, come here, come here. Yo, come here, come here, where you going? Come here. If I have 40K to 500K, would you like me to get you a Birkin? Yo, if the girl slaps the mess out of you and calls you stupid, you got yourself a keeper, man. All right? Now, Yaya Mayweather <laughs> once said, some of these bags gotta be fake. These ain't some regular behind bags you could just go and buy. She said, quote, you can't just walk into a Hermes store and buy a Birkin. You gotta be a member. My pops gotta go overseas to get them. Close quote. See, they're too exclusive, man. In translation, you probably got a fake one if you got one. Which wouldn't be stupid. You see what I'm saying? Now, if it's real, look, you could fund a small village with that kind of money. I'm saying, if someone got you a fake one, that person was smart. I ain't saying nothing about the real ones. You, you follow what I'm saying? Because next thing you know, folks are going to start clapping at me because I hurt their feelings and whatnot. Look, I understand Mayweather being able to get one, right? But folks, you know, I mean, I, folks getting multiple bags, man, really? Seriously? When they don't even give out multiple bags to the same person? Picture me paying that kind of dough just because there's a particular name on a product. They ain't getting me like that, man. You got to wake up a little earlier than that, bro. You see what I'm saying? And yeah, I can't afford it. But if I could, I wouldn't. And if I did, someone need to slap the black off of me. You follow what I'm saying? Anyway, on a lighter note, T.I. has called Busser and couldn't get through before saying, will someone show this man how to work a phone? I love this guy. Yo, take a look at what we here at Celeb Source have been waiting to hear. I just sent the request to bus to somebody to tell them to pick up. Man, somebody go help bus to work your phone, please. Yeah, 
Did y'all go help Buster work your phone so he can pick up? Show Buster how to join the live, please. Y'all show my OG man how to get uh, Yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> there go my fat neck and OG partner right now. Yeah! Get you. <laughs> hey yo, hey yo, hey yo, Tip. What's I ain't up? gonna lie. The fucking hair, that hair do you got? I don't dare think it look like I'm a fucking. The hair started. You can put it in the freezer. The hair started. Nigga looking like yo, you you looking like you trying to go back to the start of Kenny the Buster Rhyme Drive, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Without his shell, I don't know what to do, man. <laughs> Big love, man, for both of y'all, bro. You know what no, I mean? I got big listen, love for both listen, of Listen, this is the beautiful shit that the game don't see. Right. These sensitive ass motherfuckers that just came out of this little trunk. But niggas right. be getting wild emotional. Niggas right. be turning into big super pussies when motherfuckers yep. just be trying to have fun. That's right. Nigga, we used to we used to do this shit in school when we were small. Niggas snap with each other. At the lit cafeteria table. What the fuck I'm talking oh, about? Oh, three bro. lunches. Real shit. There you go. You know so, what I'm saying? So, so, three so or four lunch cards. Yeah. <laughs> motherfuckers. You did? Talk, talk that shit. Talk yeah, that man. Shit, bro. I was just telling them, man, like how, you know, I, I, I tell uh, when, so when I got locked up, man, uh, uh, they were talking about pulling the performance off the award show, and Buzz was there because we were supposed to be performing Hurt, and Buzz and, and Alpha Mega, and you know what I mean? They stood up and said, "Oh hell no, nah, we ain't, ain't no canceling the performance. We gonna get on and we gonna do, we gonna do this shit for him." And nah, that's dude. what they did. And I saw that shit, man. I saw that shit from the joint, and that shit, that shit made, that shit made me, that shit really did choke me up. I just think that people need to understand something. The way we was raised, Tip, you know, you, me, you know, I'm a little older than you, but we still come You're a lot older school. than me, but let's go on there. Oh, you's a motherfucker. Older, but you know what, though? You look like an 80 <laughs> with your motherfucking <laughs> leaning pizza walk. Nigga, every day you get up and put on sneakers and, and, and jeans and t-shirts, you still look like you going to court, nigga. <laughs> hey, man. Oh, my God. <laughs> but, 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 but listen, this is what I was saying, though. This is my point. See... We, we we come from similar fu similar fundamentals, principles, right. morals, right. and technique. Morals, respect. Lead with respect, respect and Real demand shit. that shit. That's right. So my th to be able to salute you and, 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 and fight for you because a lot of niggas, all right, that was then, but look at how many people, look at how many of our people you fighting for now. You know what I mean? Look how you out here fighting vocal and going hard to rep for our people now and you've been doing that for years bro right so you know we gotta salute you because you've been standing tall for our people you've been standing tall for our culture and my oh, nino brown i don't know who do <laughs> <laughs> back off grandpa <laughs> Hey, hey man, I can't, I, I can't lie, and, and I, and I took a lot of shit, right? I took a lot of shit from y'all show, seeing you and Spliff, like how y'all motherfucking, y'all got there do that shit, man, effortlessly. You know what I'm saying? Like how Thank often, you, King. how often do y'all like, like how often did you work on like rehearsals and shit for your show? You know, for y'all to get that shit down to, a, you know, to a, to a T like that. You know, the me and Spliff shit really came actual just friends that knew each other from we were small like i know the nigga split since i was seven years old mm. you know what i'm saying so the, just hanging around each other and the little bugging out and the joking and the vibes and just the just group together as, as friends and, and brothers that's really where it all came from you know right so you know when we started making the music together we just being in the studio and we hear the song so much that we would just know where the stop and go movements in the moments were. And we would just do random shit and pause randomly 
when those motherfucking stop and go moments happen. And those would kind of be the indirect rehearsals without us actually rehearsing. And just, down, just, the, right. just the familiarness of the records as we made them and the structure of the songs, that became the her rehearsals indirect. And we just took those moments to the live stage and just gave everybody the motherfucking free spirit energy. You know what I mean? Shit, Word. that's fine. That's fine, man. So I was talking to uh, earlier tonight, right? Yeah. And I was saying that, you know, wow. You know, when I was in elementary school selling candy and you were goddamn, you know, you had to leave us new school shit out, just another case of that PTA. And I was saying, like, it ain't even fair. I can't see myself. I can't play no song after that. I'm going to have to goddamn pack my shit up. So, look, if, 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 if you are willing to adjust to these contingencies you you can only play songs that you released from 2001 when which is when my first album came out first of all if you I'm if you willing to do that i run it with you and y'all all right cool so this is the thing that i'm gonna say before i i'm gonna tell you first of all i accept this with no problem <laughs> <laughs> That's, let's not even delay shit. I accept off the off rip because see, I never went away. I never ever disappeared. Yeah, no, no, you been I, out there. You know, I'm I'm a I'm a timeless great. See, you, you are, know, you are indeed. In 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 every era, I've had my scorching, sizzling, steaming off the skillet moments. Yeah, so yeah. so it don't matter if it's in it LA, no era. my shit. If it, 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 thank you, King. Coming me to be a part of your greatness as well, Jeez. beloved. You know what I mean? I can't front. When you gave me that opportunity, I was excited than a motherfucker because the record was a scorcher, and right. the video was a scorcher. That's you know right. what I mean? But but you know, I'm, I've been fortunate enough to have phenomenal moments in every era. From you know, once I came after LL gave birth to our generation. And every era after that up to right now. You got an album out now. I'm dropping mods on the 30th. Can't wait to get that motherfucker. Let's talk about that motherfucker, bro. Well, but let's talk about yours because your shit is out now. Mine ain't out yet. <laughs> All right, brother? I just went through your motherfucking shit last night, bro. Your shit is sizzling, bro. Man, thank you, bro. Thank very you. Very proud. Very proud. I ain't going to lie. That shit that you did when you motherfucking re-freaked the fucking Biggie, Biggie, Biggie. Can't oh, you man. see? That shit. That was actually stupid. Juicy J fault. That was what? Juicy J fault. That's crazy, bro. Juicy J fault. That like shit is I hard, like, bro. I, like shit with him and young I ain't gonna lie, I love that shit with you and Thug too. I and I and I fuck with the shit with you and Baby. Man, no, thank baby, you. that shit is hard, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Thank you. You know, thank next time, you. next time you closing out a goddamn album, you don't call your brother. Me gonna need. Hey, bro, I got something. How about that? How about right now? That's soon enough. How about soon can enough? I still make your, can I still make your album? I send, I send you something. And you, you do what you do to it. Well, and well. Well, my album, go ahead and push my, album, my, my album gone. I can't, we, we could put okay, our go. top. No, no, no. Okay, we, we could put okay, our top. No, no, no. We could put our new collab on a deluxe, though. Okay, let's do it. Let's so let's, do let's get to it. Like, like send me I'm some. I'm going to send you some the, red I'm in the studio right I got now. shit on shit on shit on shit. <laughs> you hear me, man? You see, this is what I'm talking about right here. Nothing but love, jokes, respect, and promoting each other's albums. And as a result, T.I. going to be on Buster's Deluxe. You see that? Didn't we say that, man? Didn't we call it? <laughs> you like celeb. Next story. Ooh, th that's messed up. You ain't going to give it to me? Look, check this one out. And finally, we reported to you last week that 50 Cent was livid when he saw what he believed to be Biden's tax plan of 62% uh, on those earning more than 400K. That's when he said, vote Trump. Remember that? Now, I, Celeb, said he got to be trolling. His ex, Chelsea, uh, what is it, Handler? I don't know. She was like, the hell is my ex doing? Now, your girl went on to The Tonight Show and made a statement saying this. Yo, take a look. You heard about my ex-boyfriend, right? 50 Cent and his support of of, of uh, Donald Trump. Yeah, what's going on between you? I, I saw your tweets and I go, wait, what's happening? Because you said he was your favorite ex-boyfriend and then he... he to pay 62% he in taxes, which by the way, is in a plan of Joe Biden's. That's, that's, that's a lie. So he doesn't want to pay 62% of taxes because he doesn't want to go from being 50 cents to 20 cent. <laughs> and I... Person. So he can't vote for Donald Trump and that he shouldn't be influencing an entire swath of people who may listen to him because he's worried about his own personal pocketbook. So 
Oh, well, I'm willing really to, you. you know, seal the deal in more ways than one if he changes his mind and publicly denounces Donald Trump. I might be willing to go for another spin, if you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Now, 50 caught that, right, and reposted it, adding the following caption. He said, quote, F Donald Trump, I never liked him. For all I know, he had me set up and had my friend Angel Fernandez killed. But that's history, LOL, close quote. See, didn't I tell you he was trolling, man? And yo, let us know what you think. On this election thing, right, and, and the voting thing, 50 ain't serious, is he? What do you think? And the Birkin bag, ladies, you want your man to get you a Birkin, a real one or a fake one? Fellas, listen closely to her answer. And T.I., aren't you proud of him? Hey, yo, let us know what you think. Be sure to like, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for celeb news.